In this session, we will demonstrate how AppPoint's business application platform accelerates development and delivery of rich enterprise class application to automate artwork management process for pharma industry. Artwork management solution from AppPoint software solution built using Azure App Studio allows creation and management of products enabling release to market. It also allows creation and management of artworks enabling release to market and also support the customers post the release. Artwork management solution has rules based configurable workflow allowing customers to completely customize the product initialization or the artwork approval process for any component in the solution. It offers a multi-tier security model based on roles and responsibilities thus offering precision control of what can be done and what can be seen. Auditing and versioning being inbuilt into the system allows complete traceability and auditability of actions of users and any data change. All of these details are available for reporting at all times for audit and review purposes. Artwork management solution is web based and hence is immediately available for global audience. Customers, manufacturers, reviewers can in real time collaborate, annotate on the changes, submit comments, track closures just using the browser. It is already localized to many languages so that customers, clients and other stakeholders can collaborate in their own language allowing easy adaptability it is also microsoft azure cloud enabled ensuring maximum availability and scalability let us quickly look at the demonstration of the artwork management solution being modeled using our cloud enabled bpm platform marketing team typically initiates the creation of product so let's log into the system as a user who is a part of the marketing team during the course of the session, we will be switching users who has authority to perform this specific action. Now that we have logged in as Manjari who is a part of the marketing team, let us initiate a new product which needs to be made available to the market. Right now the form is being presented to enter the basic details for the product. We have provided the basic details for a product, but let us go ahead and save this particular product. Now that we have saved this particular product, Compro with 7 now, if you notice on the screen forward to formulation development is being presented. Uh, this is because this particular uh, operation is applicable for anybody from the marketing team. Going back to the design part of it, uh, this particular artwork management solution, the particular process of productization has been uh, created using this uh, project whiteboard. If you notice the, art, uh, the product got created and as a part of that uh, the formulation development team is being presented. It's the same form uh, that is also being presented as a, in the user interface that we just uh, fill in the details with. So going back again to this particular uh, product, let me forward it to formulation development. Since we have chosen this particular marketing team and the approval team, this particular product already comes up with a particular table showing list of all users who will be participating as a part of the uh, product flow. Based on this particular table, we can see that uh, once we are forwarded to the formulation development team, Mahesh is responsible for taking action against this particular product. Let's quickly log out and log in as Mahesh and check on this particular product. So as we can see that uh, Mahesh, uh, the same for the same product, he is able to forward this to regulatory affairs. Let me quickly forward it to regulatory affairs. As a part of this formulation development, some of other details have to be input. Now that I have entered some basic details, I am forwarding it to the next particular department. Going back again to the same table, right now this product is in the hands of regulatory affairs. Similarly, all other users uh, who are available in this list has to forward to the respective teams by giving the Once this particular product is being forwarded to, to the production department, uh, additional packaging details have been provided. Let's log in as Saranan who is a part of the packaging team and we can perform the specific action. So let me forward it to production department. As a part of this particular item, uh, we need to upload the list of all add-ons that goes along with this particular product. So let me choose just one label that will be associated with this particular item. So packet sample foil is what I am going to use. Save it. So what we are indicating is that as a part of this product there will be one label which is of 10 centimeters that needs to go to this particular approval. So now it's with the next department that needs to approve. Now that the product has gone through forwarding to every department, 
the actual approval and verification and review starts right now let's let's log in as a marketing team member for the same product and let's look at the results let me quickly go back to the comprovet 7 that we created if you notice a marketing team department approval is required now uh, during the approval process each team verifies this particular product from the department perspective and will validate or review the particular parameters associated with the particular product so let me quickly do a marketing department approval if you go back to the approval list if you notice that there is a thumbs up symbol which signifies that the marketing team has reviewed this particular product from all aspects as per the department regulations right now it's in the hands of the formulation development team and who needs to approve this particular item once this particular product goes through the entire approval let's log in as a marketing communications team member and look at how the product looks like let's go back to the approval list if you notice there are a lot of thumbs up symbol except the hitesh who is a part of the marketing communication team member sir i can also do a marketing approval if you notice the entire table has been completed once the product is uh, uh, all the departments have approved if you go back to the particular artwork uh, we had submitted one of those package as a label so this is where the actual flow of the artwork starts similar to the product let's fill in some basic details required for the artwork to proceed so let me quickly uh, fill in those details and i can quickly go ahead and save it at this point of time marketing communications also has the responsibility of uploading this particular artwork so let's quickly upload the particular control file which in the form of an image to this particular artwork just uploading and a control file uh, uh, called comprovit.jpg which is a label image let me just upload and go ahead and save it at this point of time this particular artwork label is going to go through the same kind of approvals just like we went through the product so going back to the approval list uh, because we chose the particular team member who is going to be participating for the approvals for this particular artwork all that item has been set up approval on half an artwork requires two phases in the first phase the marketing designer and the package development will actually work together in making this particular label approved once the first phase is done the second phase approval starts and rest of the team members will have to review this particular changes from their department perspective and have to approve now that the marketing team member has gone ahead and uh, appro- uploaded this particular image let's submit for review so right now it's in the hands of the packaging development team to look at it so let's quickly back uh, login as a packaging development member and look at the changes let's login as saravanan who is a part of the packaging department team and look at so packaging department has a choice of either doing an approve or a reject let me go ahead and do a reject of this particular item while rejecting let me add the reasons for my uh, rejection i'll quickly add couple of annotations on this particular image using this powerful online annotation uh, capability people can uh, quickly collaborate across the web and have a, a real time review of this particular artwork So at this point of time, uh, the packaging department has gone ahead and did a reject of this particular item. If you go and look at this approval list, it clearly shows that uh, the packaging development team has gone and rejected it. So let's quickly log out and log in as a marketing team member and see what can be done about it. Let's log in as Hitesh Kumar, who is a part of the marketing communications team. Let's go back to the same artwork that we were working and look at the status of this particular item. assuming that uh, uh, i've taken note of the feedback given by the packaging team let me go ahead and uh, correct those items i'll just quickly press delete assuming that uh, i have done my corrections and i have re-uploaded this artwork file i'm going to do, go ahead and save this and i'm going to submit for the review of the packaging team So going back again to this approval list, we can notice that it's again clear. Let's go back again and uh, log in as Saravan, who's a part of the packaging team. 
and see how to provide feedback from his end. And then packaging department can also go ahead and do an approve. So if we go back uh, to this particular approvals list, there is again a thumbs up instead of a thumbs down like last time. Let's log in as somebody to, uh, from the marketing communications team and then approve this particular artwork to complete the first phase approval. Once both the marketing designer and the packaging development team has approved it, the first phase, approval, uh, first phase approval is complete. Now we move on to the second phase approvals and this is where other team members participate. Since we have already set up the team, Manjari, Pushkar, Mahesh, Vanita and manufacturing approver along with Fani and Saravanan will have to further approve this particular artwork to take it to completion. Each and every department team member will actually review this particular artwork from their own goals and review checklist items. So quick, let's quickly log in as different users and approve all of this artwork. At any point of time, if there is any rejection, this particular first phase and the second phase review has to restart all over again with every other team member again participating in approving this particular artwork. So let's log in as different users and take it to approvals. Once this particular artwork has gone through all the team approvals, let's quickly log in as the packaging team member and then look at the state of this particular artwork. Going back to this approval matrix, we can see that all the teams have participated and have approved it. At this point of time, this particular packaging team member has the capability to dispatch this particular artwork for delivery. And it also initiates the archival of this particular artwork. As a part of this particular approval, item code string from the ERP system has to be input. Right now, let me enter it manually. And I can go ahead with the archival as well as dispatch. Now that the artwork has been archived, uh, if for any reason that we have to go and visit back as to what this artwork has gone through and which particular team or who has participated, the review history in an artwork will provide the same capability. As we can see that this particular artwork has gone through 24 different steps of approval as well as a few reject steps right here done by the packaging de department member. It's possible that we can drill down into any one of this particular version and look at the record at that point of time which clearly uh, moves back in time and shows the record at that point of time. Going back to this uh, uh, activity report, this quickly gives an overview of what this uh, particular artwork has gone through for internal audit purpose. It gives basic details, the particular control file in question, as well as any comment and the user who participated in the rejection or approval of this particular artwork. It's possible that you can uh, schedule this particular uh, report to be sent periodically to all the required stakeholders. Once an activity, uh, once this particular artwork has been approved and dispatched, an artwork report is sent to the customer. This particular report contains the, the control file that has been approved with the, all the corrections in place and will also have the digital signatures of all the users who participated and the criteria that was validated by this particular team member. At any point of time during this particular approval, the team changes. It's possible that per artwork, the team can be different. That concludes the artwork flow and the release to the market has been done.